Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com, and today we are taking a field trip to the container store. The closest container store to me is about 40-ish minutes away, so it is a little bit of a drive, so somewhere I don't go very often. I absolutely love, love, love the container store. I think it's full of all kinds of inspiration, but I'll be completely honest, sometimes the prices are a little bit out of my price range. However, today I am looking and finding six items or six categories of items that I think are the best finds at the container store that you can use in your craft room. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, the first category would be craft cart accessories. You guys, normally when I video in a store, I work my way around the store in a very systematic way, but when I saw the display for these, I ran straight over. These are gorgeous accessories for your craft cart. Look at this reversible lid. It's amazing. So you can put it and cover it just like a regular lid and then say you need it to help you organize bits and pieces for a project. It flips back over and has these dividers in it, these sectioned off places that can help you organize and it does fit back on your craft cart. They had all kinds of containers that were especially designed to fit within your cart and maybe slide along the top. So you see you can put it along the top, still have things underneath. I just thought the fact that these things were sized perfectly for these carts kind of blew me away. I absolutely kind of fell in love. I don't need another craft cart right now, um, but I nearly almost bought one of these just because I was so taken aback with all of the cool accessories. They have bin clips that you can put on, um, on your craft cart to label things. They had all kinds of dividers, tray dividers, hooks that went on to your craft cart to hold all kinds of things. Just a ton, a ton, a ton of different accessories. I love the divided um, little cubby here. There are just a lot of things that I was just amazed with. And look at the pieces with the handles. Those fit in perfectly. All of these are sized perfectly. It's the sizing that I thought worked out really nicely. So yes, while these individual items might feel a little bit expensive because they just work so functionally together, I think it's worth checking out this whole craft cart system that they have available at the container store. One of the other things I always love at the container store would be the acrylic desktop accessories. I love me acrylic pieces and these are just so well built. This larger piece is meant to hold 12 by 12, which I thought was absolutely beautiful. I liked this piece too, the one that you see right there that's $27.99 for possibly holding planners. Um, the clear, I love clear pieces. I love it when they have a nice weight to them also because I think sometimes you can buy them in other stores and they're cheaper and they tend to break. Um, but that one in particular I thought would be great for holding planners that end up being a little bit larger. Of course, I love clear acrylic drawers. You can get all kinds of clear acrylic drawers on Amazon, of course, but I did find some unique ones here that had a very, very shallow drawer that I thought would be absolutely perfect for storing markers on their sides. And whenever I show a video of my craft room, I always get comments about me not storing markers on their sides. And look how perfect this would be for organizing a lot of your markers and pens and having them on their side as they are often recommended to be stored. I just thought that was such a great piece. And again, it's the functionality of these drawers and these acrylic pieces in general that I think makes them worth the price in the end. Could I go in one trip and buy all the different acrylic pieces that I would ever want? Probably not, but I can create a wish list and pick and choose pieces that are really going to function at a high level in my space, save me space, um, and so therefore it's kind of worth the extra cost and the durability is there. I love it. Again, talk about a variety of sizes. These are all cubes and rectangles and pieces just meant to go inside your drawers to keep things organized. So many different sizes. And they even had an expandable drawer insert that would create space. So it's this piece right here. It expands out. Sorry about the camera work. It expands out so it fits perfectly in your drawer. How cool 
is that and it's clear it's beautiful for $20 a little pricey for inside a drawer but again it's gonna fit perfectly all right the third thing I wanted to show you was the module office setup from the alpha system so I used to have an office that was literally inside a closet in my basement of a townhouse and I had the alpha system and it worked great but man has it come a long way look how gorgeous these pieces are gone are the wire baskets just showing everything look at how they have created these covers these inserts all kinds of things that work within these wire baskets to make them super functional but you don't see all of that white wire if you are working in a smaller setup or maybe you have combined your uh, craft or creative space with another part of your house i think these are gorgeous they have shelves there's all kinds of arrangements you can get here is a beautiful setup with white as the main feature and then in this case they did not add the drawers underneath but added a file cabinet um, which can work really well just depending on your needs i just think this is such a sleek gorgeous setup. You can customize it to fit your exact needs of your space, which being said, that might cost a little bit more in the end, but because of the function, once again, it's going to be worth the cost because you can really take advantage of all of the different opportunities you have to organize your space. I was just blown away by the beauty of these pieces. All right, normally I'm a Dollar Tree kind of girl when it comes to plastic storage. You can get all kinds of bins at the Dollar Tree, but you can't get these. These are plastic bins where you can buy dividers. So here is, it's called the Bricks Organization System. This bin is $12.99, feels like a lot, but look at the dividers you can have that snap into the bins and you can break up the bins as you see fit, as it fits into what you're organizing in them. I'm a huge fan of containing supplies within smaller containers. So for instance, in this large bin, perhaps you are going to organize markers and you wanna divide them by colors. Then you can snap in these dividers. I couldn't do it because of the um, plastic there. And it's gonna really function at a high level for you. I just thought this was great, especially for organizing projects, for project organization. I thought this would be fantastic if you were doing December daily or gratitude documented or a themed mini album of some sort and you were collecting a lot of different supplies. How great to have them all in one container and then have that sectioned off so that the supplies do not get mixed up. I thought these were fantastic. They stack beautifully. They have vertical sides, which are really important as far as using your space wisely. Of course, I very much dug the clear ones because that's usually my jam anyway. Like I said, expensive as you're buying some of the pieces, but the durability factor um, is going to be really high on these. Nothing is going to break through these. This is going to be a thick plastic. And of course, Dollar Tree pieces don't always have that same feel. All right, so similar to the acrylic desktop accessories, they have a whole section over where the kitchen storage is with unique shelf storage pieces. And because as crafters, we have a lot of different sized tools and materials and containers. These are going to come in really handy to really maximizing your space. I personally think the container store really is most effective if you are working in a small space and you are trying to really take advantage of every inch you have. This is the whole section that is kind of the home edit section. Of course, that phenomenon that kind of hit the world last year. And what I love about these clear containers is the vertical sides because that is maximizing your use of space. Again, these are designed for your kitchen, but you can, of course, use them in your craft room just depending on how they function in the space, what sizes they have. There are so many different varieties in there that I think you'll really find something that works well for you. And again, I'm a huge fan of clear containers for your supplies because if you can see it, you are much more likely to use it. 
and I like that they come in all these different sizes. So I know those um, big Calyx cubes are really popular at Ikea where they're just huge bins. Within those bins or within those cubed openings, you could fit several of these and have your supplies divided into some smaller categories that would be a much more effective way of organizing them and being able to pull them out. Um, here is the Container Store brand. I think it's called iDesign perhaps. Um, and they have a lot of different options. This one would be great for stamp storage for holding all of your different stamp pieces. So something to consider, again, if it's the right piece with the right function, it might just be worth the extra cost. All right, the last thing, number six, that I want to share with you that I find at the container store, and I've seen it before, and I'm in love with it, would be these cute metal drawers. You guys, this is designed for a craft room. Look at these shallow drawers that pull out. They are so perfect. The um, smaller set of drawers is $100, which is a lot. So I'm having trouble justifying buying it, but man, it would be so great. It would hold so much. And they even have these little inserts that you can stack in there that will um, organize what's in there. Like if you're a jewelry maker and you have a lot of different bead sets, I think that would be absolutely perfect for fitting in there. They also have a taller set of drawers that was more expensive, I think maybe around 160, 170, somewhere in there. Um, but man, so functional for a craft space, so beautiful and durable. I want this, it is on my wish list for sure. I hope you enjoyed my top six finds for a craft room found at the container store. I will link supplies down below in case you're interested in checking those out. I'd love to hear if you have found some treasures at the container store or maybe you have found a great knockoff that you want to share. I would love to hear about that in the comments below. I hope that you have an absolutely fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.